Hello everybody, I'm back, and today I'm continuing with the Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we caught a Bidoof, and pretty much instantly lost it due to muscle memory. And we also caught a Zubat, which I named Donut, who has a rash nature, can't remember what that does. I'm gonna put Donut in the front, since she's the lowest level, and will also be instantly more useful than Magikarp, Magikarp, Magikarp at the time being. Do you want to get you trained up? Because you will be really good if I evolve you and then I'll have to change your nickname since you'll no longer be crap. Anyways, let's continue. That sparkling new Poketch, your awkwardness is a traveler. <laughs> I forgot that was a line. You're still a pretty new trainer, aren't you? Fellow friend of Pokemon, let's make a gift to this HMT. So we get Rock Smash. Crap, I'm not sure if any of my guys can learn that. Just to check, who learns- I know Justin, the Bidoof, who was killed instantly, could have learned it. I don't think- Okay, Turtonator can learn it. Keep that- I'll keep that in mind. I'll have, I'll have to give Rock Smash to Turtonator. And here is a camper. We trainers will accept challenges anywhere. It's what we do. So, Camper Curtis. I think he's got a Starly and a Psyduck. So yeah, let's start training Donut. Let's send in... You know what? Let's get train. Let's get Astoria's level over with. She's so bad. <laughs> like, I feel kind of bad because I know Staraptor's great, but at the same time, Astoria the Starly who did learn wing attack, just hasn't really been doing- oh, never mind! All, turns out all you need was a wing attack and Astoria can actually do some damage, and take some damage. There, good job Astoria, and a crit. You are back to being off the list of death fodder. Shinx. Unless- okay, so you don't know Spark. So I could- I'm gonna switch into Donut. Hope Donut can take a hit, and then switch back out into someone else. Okay, yeah, we're good. And then let's go into Scar, because a story- or- no, let's go into Turtonator. Also, my- it's the Picnicker, I believe, with Buddy and Psyduck. Alright, Turtonator also has a fancy new move, in the form of Absorb. Which is fairly weak. Only base 20 power. It's about as strong as Leech Life, I think. No wait, Leech Life is like 10 or 15. <coughs> Which, but because Leech Life is so weak and Supersonic is so unreliable... Um, Donut- oh, another crit. Okay. And a story again, some levels two or experience two. Sufficiently raised? Question mark. Now let's go fight you. To celebrate my getting through this cave, I'm going to battle you. And oh no, I guess there was no Psyduck in this cave. Bidoof! I am sick and tired of running into Bidoof. You guys have no idea. Bidoof are for some reason just like really good and it actually kind of bugs me. I'm gonna send in Scar because I want Scar to get Spark at some point. So Scar can become a member of Team Instinct. But yeah. And they're gonna growl and defense curl. Which pretty much means I'm gonna do like no damage. Yep. Let's try Turtonator. So yeah, I, we're gonna get two encounters today. Um, one from Route 207. And one from... Whatchamacallit, Orberg Cave. And then I doubt we'll actually get to fight Rourke. 
We'll probably clear up to Rourke and then fight in the next episode because this game's pretty slow. And also, Bidoof is gonna take like three minutes by itself. Half of mine just to speed this up, but... There is always the chance that Bidoof can get a crit, and Bidoof is like Scope Lens Focus Energy Super Luck in this. <laughs> so yeah. Let's see. I think the encounter I'd want the most- well, there's two good things on route next one. Route 207, that's it. And one of them is Machop, which would be instantly useful, and one of them is Ponita, which would be useful down the line for, like, Gardenia. That took eight absorbs just to knock out a Bidoof, and that was with prior damage. Bidoof too strong. And yay, Donut grew to level six. And then Turtinator is leveling up. Yeah, well, not leveling up, but getting XP. And there. Now let's go heal everyone up, especially Astoria. Howdy, trainer, huh? Uh-oh, you don't have a single gym badge. You better do something about that. I'll take you to the Pokemon gym. There's someone there. It's Barry! Uh, Bear Roy, I guess. You're still like always, but anyway, the gym leader's tough. Like, seriously, serious. If the gym leader's this tough, I wonder how he compares to my dad. Huh. I just drifted there. Anyways, the gym leader's gone off to the coal mine. If you want to take on the gym leader, you better go off to the mine. But I'm not. I'm gonna go to the Pokemon Center, and I'm gonna heal up and then go catch, like... A Ponyta or Machop or another Bidoof. I don't know. Oh wait, no, I think Ponyta and Machop are the only things on that road in that area, but I'm not sure. I'm probably completely wrong. Wouldn't really surprise me. So, let's go up to Route 207. We can't go up here yet, we need a bicycle. But over here is an item. It's a Pokeball. And our encounter is going to be... A Geodude. I forgot about you. Now, one interesting thing is... Hmm. I don't want to use you. I have a reason for not wanting to use you. And that's gonna be... I cannot evolve you into Golem. Kind of the same thing with the Ghastly line. I can't evolve him all the way because this thing doesn't do trading. I'm gonna catch you though, just in case I need to use you, but I'm just gonna drop you in the PC box. I oh yeah, I can't get an Onyx I can't get a Steelix out of an Onyx in say Orbird Cave. Okay, tanky. This is going to take a while. Absorb's just going to be a one-shot. Let's just try throwing a Pokeball. And I guess I could use Graveler for a while. Nope. Hmm. I... Absorb's going to knock it out, though. I want to say it as Rock Throw. So I can't send in Astoria. So, you know what? This is going to take a very long time. Just gonna turn it on double speed to try and speed up this little slow battle. And also I need to think of a name for you. And of course Tertinator gets critted. Okay, no. Hmm. I kind of want to name you Aerosmith just because it's a rock band and you're a rock and I'm clever. Except not really. Seriously? Uh. 
It's so tempting just to absorb you, but I will put you on my team. Okay, one more tackle. And then I'm just gonna, okay, put you into the yellow and then start throwing Pokeballs. There. There. That was long. At rest, it looks just like a rock. Carelessly stepping on it will make it swing its fists angrily. And sure, let's call you Aerosmith. Because it was the first thing I thought of and now it's gonna stick. And sure, I will end up using you even though you're just gonna be a graveler for the whole game. You can catch Steelix later. You have an item. What, what item are you holding, Aerosmith? An Everstone. Yeah, rub it in that I can't evolve you. Why not? <laughs> Anyways, what nature are you? Gonna keep her in the back for now. And I'm gonna catch Corky. Don't know what that is. Gonna keep her in the back and then catch my Orbit Cave Encounter and choose which of those two I'm gonna use. Okay, it's another Geodude. I at least feel slightly better <laughs> about that. But my second encounter was also a Geodude. Hmm. Absorb a one-shot it. And I doubt this thing will do 10 damage. Okay, it did 6 on a crit. Don't move faster than a... Don't move slower than a rock, please. Thanks, Trojan Eater. And now, yay, free healing, because Sturdy doesn't really do much in this gen other than protect against Horn Drill and stuff like that. As opposed to just being a live with one hit revenge type thing. Okay. Let's go heal up. You know what? I think I'm actually just gonna. I might tackle Rourke today. <coughs> I could just potion up the two, but since I wasted a lot of PP on tackling Aerosmith, I'm gonna go for the full heal. So yeah, now that she is wing attack, a story is actually gonna be pretty good. Just have to get over the hurdle. And also gonna go get some items. This one is a dire hit. Increase the chance of critical hits. And this one is a yellow shard. We can trade those for the sandstorm TM later in the game. If for some reason we ever need to use sandstorm. Then over here I don't think there's an item. Might be one in this house. Nope. It's positive there's a third item. Down here. Okay, do you give me an item? Yes, you do. The super potion. Awesome. How super. Now, let's go catch us probably another Geodude. In which case, I'll need to think up another rock band or rocker. Hmm. And our encounter is a Onyx. It's hmm. I kind of have an idea of what I'm going, of what I want to name you, and I. Probably gonna put you on my team because you're higher leveled than Aerosmith. And once again, I don't want to absorb because I think I'll end up one-shotting it. So tackle battle go! Oh, good, fine. Is that gonna? Of course. It... Okay. First off, of course it was a crit. 
Secondly, I can't switch. Can I switch now? Yes. It is so tempting just to use Absorb. Or, you know, throw a ball. Onyx has a pretty low catch rate, so I'd be genuinely shocked if this actually got it. Pardon. Okay. Absorb will... Well, it's only one level higher. I think it might be able to take an Absorb, and if it doesn't, I'm not really going to miss this encounter. Because I can catch Steelix and Iron Islands, so they're really common there. So, and I wouldn't be able to evolve the Sonics anyways. So let's go for an Absorb. Yeah. Oh well. Not the worst thing in the world since I can't trade evolve anyways, so... And Turtonator is now level 10. Yeah, I think in the time it would have taken me to tackle some to tackle it into the yellow Turtonator would have been killed. So I don't think it was worth it. What about what would my second encounter have been? A Geodude that was level nine. Yeah, I would have preferred that to be Aerosmith over this being Aerosmith. But what can you do? And Turtonator is gonna get leveled up because well the next gym's a rock type gym. So he needs some levels, and also just one-shots all these guys with Absorb without a care in the world. So yeah. Oh, you lived it. I guess all that tackling actually made a difference. Let's just absorb it. We're also training up Donut in the process gonna hold off on training up Aerosmith because, again, I don't think she'll be that useful. Although on the Ravage Path, I guess I could get a Psyduck. I don't know, I'm gonna wait to see if I get a Psyduck or if it's just a duplicate in the Ravage Path. I met this matchup on Route 207. They've now become my most trusted partners. And here's the third of the three we could have possibly gotten, and it's a Zubat. Can't really use Turtonator against that, so I'll just go into one of Scar or Astoria. Let's go into let's go into Astoria and Wing Attack, because Wing Attack's cool. And then get confused instantly and have to switch out. Okay, now I went for Leech Leg. <coughs> so Wing Attack. Alright, cool. Perfect amount to two-shot it. Perhaps I should have used Scar because these guys all have Machops, which is going to be what Astoria is going to end up dealing with in this cave. Wait, I just had a thought. Aerosmith learns Rock Smash, so I can keep Aerosmith around. Specifically to use Rock Smash. You snuck your Pokemon into work. Does it happen to be Machop that everyone else is using? Probably. Worker Mason. I get it. Because, you know, a Mason is like a stone Mason. And he has a Geodude, not a Machop, so Turtonator, that's your job, because nobody else will do any sort of reasonable damage to it. This cave must be hard if you pick Chimchar, actually. All those rocks and Ember and... Scratch aren't going to do much. I guess if you were level 14 already, you could have Mach Punch and you'd be a fighting type. But yeah. So yeah, Donut and Totony are going to get some levels, and we're going to get some money. Okay. Oh yeah, level cap. I'm not allowing myself to surpass the highest level of the next gym leader's Pokemon. In this case, Rourke is 14. Onyx, hi! You nearly killed Turtonator. So, uh, yeah, let's switch into Turtonator because nobody is again going to even come close to knocking this thing out before it kills them. 
So yay, Turtonator gets more levels. And absorb. There. And Donut is now level 8. So we can put Magic Crap in the front. Magic crap. There. No, I hit B. There. <coughs> and oh, it's somebody with a unique sprite. I wonder who they could be. Okay, stand back and watch this. Using the hidden move rock smash, a boulder blocking your way. Fallen boulders need to be smashed so they're out of the way. If you could get the badge from the gym in town, you'd be able to do this too. Of course, you'd have to beat the gym leader first. That'd be me. And he leaves. But in the meantime... Just a quick battle on my break. Worker Colin. He has a Geodude. Surprise, surprise! Anyways. Let's switch out Magikarp again into Turtonator again. And tackle. Right there. Absorb. Well, hey, we finally have two elemental of damaging moves in the form of Absorb and Wing Attack. And I mean, I guess Donut has one. Except Leech Life is pretty bad, so. She's really gonna be switch trained until she gets Wing Attack. And Macha! Alright, Astoria, your turn. And it's low kick. <laughs> I really don't want to have to switch out against this after what happened last time. I'm worried I'm going to end up switching in like Aerosmith. Oh god. Yeah, we're going to need you to kill that Astoria. Thanks. Anyways, next up. Is there any more guys in this cave for me to fight? Don't think so. Story grew to level 10. Wahaha, mercy, I cry mercy. And now let's go get an item. It's an escape rope, we can escape. But let's go through the cave because it's more levels. For Magikrap, Turtonator, and maybe Scar. Because Scar can handle this, and Astoria is already a higher level than Scar, so we're gonna use Scar. We're not gonna be using Aerosmith, though, I don't think. But she does get Rock Smash, and I don't really wanna give Turtonator Rock Smash, so I can give Aerosmith Rock Smash. And tackle! Leech Life does like one point of damage, two at max usually. Okay. Yeah, it was two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna end up fighting the trainers in the gym in this episode, then tackle Rourke in the next one. Super Sonic. Yay, fun. Thanks, Scar. And let's keep going. 23 for Magikrap and 23 for Scar. The music didn't even start. The track didn't even start. It's Geodude. Easy one shot by Terminator, so let's do that. And switch in and let's go. 
Yeah, I'm probably just going to speed up all the random battles in this cave from here on out. Just because there's no point in showing them. Unless, of course, something scary happens, in which case I'll slow down and comment on it and speed up again. So yeah, 3, 2, 1, speed boost! Let's do that. Alright, let's go into Scar. Even the Zubats are getting critical hits. Just get in the Pokemon Center, listen to what the gym guy, I think the gym guy has stuff to say. And then keep going. No, I didn't want to do that. No! Nurse Joy, you're such a troll. There, let's just go. <laughs> this is gonna be a super long episode, I can already tell. Oh, you don't have anything to say, Jim Guy, okay? Let's fight this youngster. You avoid the long way around? Let's see why you do that. To beat you! Youngster Jonathan. Jonathan? I don't know, I've always seen it spelled with an A, like Jonathan. Not Jonathan, but I don't know. Turtonator! It's level 11. So an absorb might actually not one shot this. Am I actually gonna have to do training for the first gym? I should do it just to be safe. Just to make sure Turtonator can one shot some other stuff. And granted, Magikarp isn't really. Yeah, I think I'll just get my main three up and two. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see how Tertanita does uh, against this next guy. Magikarp, Magikarp grew to level eight. Cool. Let's put Donut back in the front. And Tertanita grew to level 12. Alright, Pokemon. Alright, only those who want to win can challenge a Pokemon Gym. Well, I wouldn't come in here to get swept because I only have a team of six. Okay, you're level nine. So Turtonator should definitely one-shot you. Yeah, I think if I... I might do switch training just to get Donut and Magikarp up to level nine. And then also Turtonator up to level 14. But I'll do that all off-screen, because it's boring. And down goes Geodude. Don't know for sure if it is Rock Throw or not, so... Okay, it's an Onyx. Because it has Bind, I can't really switch into Donut, so... Yeah, if it went for Bind, Donut would have been dead. Probably, because it could just bind and tackle her while she couldn't switch out and she'd do like 1 HP per hit. And I actually want to use Donut, so yeah. And Tertinator's level 13. Yes, thank you, Razor Leaf, heck yes. yes. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you in the next part where we tackle this guy, Rook. Bye-bye.